Hey, this is Larry Six String. What we're going to talk about today is the spelling of chords. To explain how this process works, if you think of the key of C, the C major scale is spelled C, D, E, F, G, A, B, and C. The C is the 1, the D is the 2, the E is the 3, the F is the 4, the G is the 5, the A is the 6, the B is the 7, and the C again is your octave, your 8th. So when I talk about root 3rd and 5th, I'm talking about the root is the 1. In the case of C, it's C. The 3rd, which is C, D, E. And the 5th, which is C, D, E, F, G, is your 5th. That constitutes the spelling for a major chord. So when I speak about these numbers, I'm talking back to the major scale of the actual chord. So, A major, the root third and fifth, we have A, C sharp, E. B flat major, we have B flat, D, and F. B major, we have B, D sharp, and F sharp. C major, you have C, E, and G. D flat major, you have D flat, F, and A flat. D major, you have D, F sharp, and A. E flat major, you have E flat, G, and B flat. E major, you have E, G sharp, and B. F major, you have F, A, C. G flat major, you have G flat, B flat, and D flat. The thing to know about G is that in all G's for a, for a third, you have to have some kind of a B. So once again, G flat major is G flat, B flat, and D flat. G major is G, B, and D. And finally, A flat major is A flat, C, and E flat. Using an A as a root, be it an A flat, an A sharp, or an A natural, you have to have some kind of a C for your third. So an A flat major is A flat, C, and E flat. Now we're going to move to minor spellings for minor chords. Minor chords are spelt root, flat third, and fifth. So A minor is spelt A as the root, C as the flat third, and E as the fifth. B flat minor, the notes are B flat, D flat, and F. For B minor, the notes are B, D, and F sharp. C minor, the notes are C, E flat, and G. D flat minor, here we have some what are called enharmonics because in the key of D, the third has to be some kind of an F. So in the key of D flat, the third is an F 
flat, which enharmonically is also called an E note, but because the third has to be some kind of an F, it's F flat. And the fifth is A flat. So D flat minor, the notes are spelled D flat, F flat, and A flat. D minor, the notes are D, F, and A. E flat minor, the notes are E flat, G flat, and B flat. In the key of E, E flat, or E sharp, you have to have the third as some kind of a G. So E flat minor has a E flat, a G flat, and a B flat. E minor, the notes are spelled E, G, B. F minor, the notes are F, A flat, and C. G flat minor. You recall that in G, the third has to be some kind of a B. So the notes are G flat, B double flat, and D flat. Now the B double flat is the same as same note as an A. However, because G, all G's have to have some type of B as a third, we have to double flat the B to get to the actual note. So G flat minor, the notes are G flat, B flat, and D flat. G minor, the notes are G, B flat, and D. And finally, for A flat minor, remember in A, the third has to be some kind of a C. So in A flat minor, the notes are A flat, C flat, and E flat. Now the C flat is enharmonic. It can also be called a B, except when we're spelling it out, A flat minor. The notes are A flat, C flat, and E flat. So that's it for all the major and minor spellings. Now we're going to move on to the seventh, the dominant seventh spellings. Dominant sevenths, which are your normal seventh chords, are spelt root, third, fifth, and flat seven. So A7, the notes are root is A, Remember, A has to have some kind of a C as its third. So we have C sharp, E as a fifth, and the flat seven is a G. So that's two frets down from the root, or two notes down from the root. So A seventh is A, C sharp, E, G. You'll notice that the first three notes are the same as a major chord. So a dominant seventh is a major chord with a flat seven, so four notes. So A7 is A, C sharp, E, G. B flat seven, the notes are B flat, D, F, and A flat. B seven, the notes are B, D sharp, F sharp, and A. C7, the notes are C, E, 
G and B flat. D flat 7, the notes are D flat, F, A flat, and C flat. Because the seventh has to be some kind of a C. So the flat seventh has to be one semitone down from that C. So it's C flat. So D flat seven is D flat, F, A flat, C flat. One way to think about it for flats is if D flat is a root, a full tone down is your seventh. So that's C flat. D7. D, F sharp, A, and C. E flat 7. E flat, G, B flat, and D flat. E7. E, G sharp, B, and D. F7. F, A, C, and E flat, which is two semitones down from an F. G flat 7. G flat, B flat, D flat, and F flat. And harmonically, that's also known as an E. G7, G, B, D, F. And lastly, for the dominant sevens, we have A flat seven, which is A flat, C, E flat, and G flat. That's it for the dominant sevens, which are made of root, third, fifth, and flat sevenths. Now we're going to move to the major sevenths. Major sevenths are made of the root, third, fifth, and your leading note, which is the seventh. So root, three, five, seven. So relating back to our C scale, we think C is a one, E is the three, G is the five, and the seven is the B. So the root third fifth seven for A major seven is A, C sharp, E, and G sharp. A clue here, a little secret, is that the one semitone down from the root is your major seventh note. In the case of A, it's a G sharp. So one fret down or one step down from the piano. So A major seventh, A, C sharp, E, and G sharp. B flat major seventh. B flat, D, F, and A. B major seven. The notes are B, D sharp, F sharp, and A sharp. C major seventh. The notes are C, E, G, B. D flat major seventh. The notes are D flat, F, A flat, and C. D major seven. The notes are D, F sharp, A, and C sharp. E flat major seventh. The notes 
are E flat, G, B flat, and D. So E flat major seventh, the notes are E flat, G, B flat, and D. E major seventh, the notes are E, G sharp, B, and D sharp. F major seven. In F major seven, the notes are F, A, C, E. G flat major seven. The notes in a G flat major seven are G flat, B flat, D flat, and F. G major seven, the notes are G, B, D, and F sharp. A flat major seven. The root third, fifth, and seven in A flat major seven are A flat. Remember, the third has to be some kind of a C. So it's C, E flat, and G. So A flat major seven is a flat, C, E flat, and G. And that's it for all the major seven spellings. Now we're going to move to the diminished spellings. Diminished chords are made out of root, flat third, and flat fifth. If we think back to our numbers, 1, flat 3, flat 5, in the key of C, we would have C, E flat, and G flat. I'm not going to spell all of these right now. Pretty straightforward. C, E flat, G flat are diminished. The diminished seventh chords are spelt root, flat third, flat 5, and a double flat seven. For convenience, you can think of the double flat seven as the sixth of the scale. So a diminished seven has a root flat third, flat five, and a double flat seven. So in the case of C, we have C as the root, E flat as the flat third, G flat as the flat fifth, and B double flat as the double flat seven to make it a diminished seven. And we could also think of that as the sixth note of the scale. For example, in a C scale, C, D, E, F, G, A is the sixth note of the C scale. So although the note is an, it's an A note, and harmonically we call it a B double flat because it has to have some kind of a seventh, and an A would be a sixth. So C diminished seventh, it's C, E flat, G flat, and B double flat. Now we're going to move on to the augmented the augmenteds are made up, they're spelled with a root, a third, and a sharp five. So in the key of C, we have a root of C, a third of E, and a sharp five of G sharp. That's the triad that makes up the augmented spellings. Now we're going to move to the minor seventh spellings. Minor seventh spellings are root, flat third, fifth, and flat seven. So it's a minor spelling with a flat seven. A minor seven, if you take the root note, for example, 
in the key of C, you have uh, C minor is is C E flat and G. If you look at the third of C minor, it's an E flat, and that E flat, the same spelling is a uh, E flat sixth. So a sixth chord is the same as a minor seventh with the root. For example, the A minor seventh, the third of that is a C, or the flat third of an A minor seventh is a C. So an A minor seventh is the same chord as a C6. So a minor seventh is spelt root, flat third, and the flat third, you could also name that chord based on the flat third as a six. Therefore, A minor seventh can also be called a C sixth. So A minor seventh, the notes are A, C, E, G. That's your root, flat third, fifth, and flat seventh. B flat minor seventh, the notes are B flat, D flat, F, and A flat. B minor seventh, the notes are B, D, F sharp, and A comprise a B minor seventh. C minor seventh, the notes are C, E flat, G, and B flat. D flat minor seventh. Remember, with Ds, you have to have a third as some kind of an F. So D flat minor seventh, the notes are D flat, F flat, A flat, and C flat. So D flat minor seven is D flat, F flat, A flat, and C flat, which enharmonically is also a B. And the F flat is enharmonically an E, but we can't call it an E because the third has to be some kind of an F, and the flat seven has to be some kind of a C. So D flat, F flat, A flat, and C flat make up a D flat minor seven. D minor seven is spelt D F A C. E flat minor seven is spelt E flat, G flat, B flat, and D flat. E minor seven is made up of an E, a G, a B, and a D. F minor seven. F minor seven, the root is F, the flat third is A flat, the five is C, and the flat seven is E flat. So F minor seventh is F, A flat, C, and E flat. G flat minor seven. Remember in the key of G, the third has to be some kind of a B note. So the spelling for a G flat minor seventh is G flat, B 
double flat and harmonically in A, D flat and F flat and harmonically in E. But remember the seventh has to the flat seventh has to be some kind of an F. So G flat minor seventh, you have G flat B double double flat. D flat and F flat. G flat, B double flat, D flat and F flat. G minor seventh, the notes are G, B flat, D and F. And lastly, the A flat minor seven also has an enharmonic because remember in A, be it A flat, A natural, or A sharp, the third must be some type of a C. So A flat minor seven, the notes are A flat, C flat, E flat, and G flat. The last chords we'll look at for spelling are the minor seven flat five chords. The minor seven flat five chords are derived from the root, the flat third, the flat fifth, and the flat seventh. So relating back to the key of C, you would have the 1 as a C, the flat 3 as an E flat, the flat 5 as a G flat, and the flat 7 as a B flat. So A minor 7 flat 5, the root flat 3rd, flat 5th, flat 7 are spelt A, C, E flat G B flat minor seven flat five root flat third flat fifth flat seven are B flat D flat F flat and A flat B flat D flat, F flat, and A flat. B minor seven flat five. The notes are B, D, F, and A. C minor seven flat five. C, E flat, G flat, and B flat. D flat minor seven flat five. This one has some enharmonics as well because the flat seven has to be some type of C and the, the flat three has to be some kind of an F and the five has to be some kind of an A. So D flat minor seven flat five, the notes are D flat, F flat, A double flat, and C flat. So there are three enharmonics in the D flat minor seven flat five. F flat, consider it as an E as well. A double flat, consider that as a G. And C flat, consider that as a B. So D flat minor seven flat five, the notes are D flat, F flat, A double flat, and C flat. D minor seven flat five, the notes are D, F, A flat, and C. 
E flat minor 7 flat 5. Remember in E, the third has to be some kind of a G. And the flat 5 has to be some kind of a B. Because in E, the fives are some types of B. For an E natural, it's it's B. For E flat, it's B B flat. And for E sharp, it's B sharp. So E flat minor seven flat five. The notes are E flat, G flat, B double flat, and harmonically that's an A, and a D flat. So E flat minor 7 flat 5, the notes are E flat, G flat, B double flat, and D flat. E minor 7 flat 5, the notes are E, G, B flat and D. F minor 7 flat 5, the notes are F, A flat, C flat, and E flat. F, A flat, C flat, and E flat. F minor 7 flat 5. G flat minor seven flat five. A lot of enharmonics in this one as well. Remember in the key of G, the third has to be some kind of a B and the five has to be some kind of a D and the flat seven has to be some kind of an F. So the spelling for a G flat minor 7 flat 5 is G flat, B double flat, D double flat, and F flat. So a G flat minor 7 flat 5 is G flat, B double flat, think of an A, D double flat, C, and F flat, and harmonically it's an E. So G flat minor 7 flat 5 is G flat, B double flat, D double flat, F flat. G minor 7 flat 5, G, B flat, D flat, and F. And our last chord spelling we're going to look at for the A is the A flat minor 7 flat 5. The root flat 3rd, flat 5th, and flat 7th for an A flat minor 7 flat 5. More enharmonics are A flat, C flat, E double flat, and G flat. Remember, in all A's you have to have some type of C as a 3rd and some type of E as a fifth. So A flat minor seven flat five has A flat, C flat, E double flat, and G flat. Notice I didn't call them C flat, I didn't call it a B, and E double flat, I did not call it a D. So A flat, C flat, E double flat, and G flat. Thank you. That concludes all the spellings for the major chords, the minor chords, the dominant seventh chords, the major seventh chords, the diminished chords, the diminished seventh chords, the augmented chords, the minor seventh chords, the and lastly, the minor 7 flat 5 chords. So major chords are root 3rd and 5th. Minor chords are root flat 3rd and 5th. Dominant 7th chords are root 3rd, 5th, and flat